Hey everybody, Joe here. Well, today I thought I'd do a tutorial about uh, DaVinci Resolve on how to export video and stuff that can be used in uh, OBS Studio for like your stingers, those transitions between like one scene to the next. There's a lot of information going out on the internet uh, about how to do this, but most of it seems to be kind of wrong or lacking some uh, proper information. So I thought I'd do a, a video on this and it's going to be a short video. So anyway, this is pretty easy and I'll show you how to do it. So let's hop over here in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, everybody, well, here we are in DaVinci uh, Resolve and everything. Let me click on it here. All right, first thing, I've already got some stuff already made in Fusion here. And it, my stuff, let me go open it here. And let me decompose this already in, pla uh, in place. As we can see here, it zooms in, does a little zoom out, and goes back. Now there's a lot of information people telling you that you need a different background in the background. So let me just scoop this up here and we'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's see here, the video transitions, generators. Here we go, generator, solid color. Let me pop one of those in place here and I'll make this generator a, since right now it's black, let's just make it lime green for example. A lot of people telling you that you have to like, uh, you know, that coming, here we go. I'm green. Okay, there we go. Venture resolve. As you can see, now we got the lime green in the background. People telling you that you have to set up like an alpha channel and then make that green your alpha channel, which is uh, balarky. Uh, you do not. So, as you can see, without it, the background is looks black. However, it's not this black. It is transparent. See, put the green behind it. All right. So we have a, a transparent background. We get rid of that solid color. All right. Now, if you go over here to Fusion, uh, I've already got all this made. This is not going to be a Fusion tutorial. As you can see, it is, in fact, you know, a transparent background. All right. So, how do you export this and it make it work? And which was seemed to be the biggest issue I had for a long time of trying to figure out how to get to work because the normal uh, ways to export video for transparent background didn't seem to work in OBS. And every time I tried to do it, I kept ending up with black background. So first thing you got to do is after you got your fusion composition, like I said, you don't need a color. You do not have to set an alpha channel. Just create it using graphics and stuff that you draw or, you know, come up with in, uh, in fusion here and resolve. Then make this a compound clip. You always got to make it a compound clip. All right, wonder if we got that. And we can see they got the compound clip here. All right. Then let's go over here. Like I said, you do not have to set an alpha channel. A lot of people come over and tell you, you got to put an alpha channel over here. No, there's no alpha channel. You see it here. There is no alpha channel. You'd have to go to add alpha uh, source output right there. There is not one. We're not using the alpha output. All right, so don't have to worry about that. Click over here on to deliver. And this is what you need to set right here. First thing first, you need to set individual clip. You know, choose your location where you want to put it, you know, desktop or whatever. Choose your title. Now it's going to throw a bunch of zeros at the end. No big deal. But here's what you got to do. Make sure you're on individual clips. Individual clips is important. You want to scroll down here. You want to make sure you got to use QuickTime. Now, I have been trying to use it in DNX uh, HD and I want to say DNX HR and uh, to get export alpha. Now, this will work if you pull video back into DaVinci Resolve. However, this will absolutely not work if you try to uh, export it over to, uh, to be using OBS. It will still show as a black background. So, we're not going to use DNX HR. Instead, we're going to go down to GoPro Cineform. Now, as soon as you click on it, you will not see anything that says alpha channel. You'll need to go to uh, RGB 16 bit up here. Once you do that, click export alpha. Wonderful, okay. Then you're gonna see uh, premier, uh, multiplied or straight. That's up to you. Does it really that matter? You can choose your resolution that you wanna export as. All right, quality best, but you wanna go ahead and do advanced settings also. Data levels, you want to make sure they're on full. By default, it will be on auto. You want to click that and put it on full because if you do not, then you'll end up with uh, your video and stuff washed out. 
once you got that done all you can do is click add to render queue yeah let's go ahead and click render queue anyway do that hit start render and it will work and as you see right here it works just perfectly okay everybody well like i said that's pretty much it just make sure when you set your uh your time or whatever between your transition uh if you for example my clip is like three seconds that you set the transition point to like 1500 milliseconds that way because 1500 milliseconds is a second and a half that way the scenes transition in between when the screen is full of you know the detail you know the uh, graphics stuff on the screen but that's really it there isn't really much to it so anyway that's it for this tutorial i hope you found it helpful and i hope it uh, helps you uh, create some nice stingers and uh overlays and stuff in oh for uh, be used in obs studio and if you like this video how about give me a thumbs up thumbs up's always highly appreciated and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please take the time to subscribe uh, subscribing is free it's for you to let you know when i release more videos and until next time everyone thank you for watching